Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, uh, determine the constant angular velocity, uh, theta dot over the vertical shaft of uh, the amusement ride if uh, phi is 45 degrees. Neglect the mass of uh, the cables and the size of uh, the passengers. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics uh, 14th edition by RSC Bella. Right, so let's draw the free body diagram. The question is to find uh, the angular constant angular velocity so we'll section this uh, cable supporting this swing so once we do so we expect tension force in there like so like so all right and then we also are going to have this is uh, the weight, right? Mm -hmm. Right, tension force will have some components. It will have one component in that direction like so, going up. Then it will have another component in that direction going this side. Right, um, what else? Uh, then we do have the coordinates, we are using the cylindrical um, along this, uh, this axis we have the radio um, here we do have the Z and then here we do have I knew this is, I need to make mention, it's a right angle like so. This is a right angle. It's like so. Okay. So let's label this. So this is our Z. Um, this is our Z. This is our R. And um, this is our theta, right? And um, this is our W, which is the weight, and is equal to mg. All right. And we know that this angle here is um five. Okay, this is five. Me use this other color. Um, this is five. Okay, I would have shown also here. I didn't just want to search five. Therefore, if that is five, given that this is t here and this is t, um, then this becomes uh, t. Uh, cos theta, I mean cos phi, and then this one is T sine phi. Huh. Then this we have our uh, radius of curvature, our R. This is equal to R equal to. Uh, 1.5 plus 8 uh, sine 5 okay then let's show the kinetic diagrams we have one in this direction we have another in this direction and we have another in this direction Okay, let's label them. So this is our M A R. This is our M A Z, and this is our M A theta. So let's write down these. Let's calculate these values of acceleration with A R. Our A R is just equal to R double dot minus R theta dot squared. R is equal to 
1.5 plus 8 sine phi and phi is 45 degrees and this is constant therefore r dot is just going to be equal to r double dot which is equal to zero therefore our ar is just equal to minus um r theta dot squared which is just equal to minus 1.5 plus 8 sine 45 theta dot squared okay um then we have a theta which is just equal to r double r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot since r so we know that here r dot is equal to 0 so this part is 0 and then since uh, theta dot is constant therefore uh, therefore theta double dot is just going to be equal to zero okay therefore a theta is equal to zero then a z is just equal to z double dot we don't have any movement in that direction theta dot is equal to z double dot which is just equal to zero having done this we can apply the equations of motion so let's start with um, summation of forces uh, summation of forces let's say in the z going up in our reference okay and this is just equal to m a z and we know to say a z is equal to zero therefore we'll have t cos phi which is just minus w equal to zero therefore t cos 45 just equal to mg okay Mm, right there we go right so summation of forces are uh, in the theta direction going this direction like this this is equal to m a theta and we found that our a theta our a theta is just equal to zero and we do not have in fact any component of force in that direction and therefore as theta the force the summation of forces in that direction is just all equal to zero then we have summation of forces in the arrow going in this direction being our reference and this is equal to m a arrow and what do we have in this direction? We do have minus t sine phi is equal to m a r. So minus t sine phi is just equal to uh, m. And there is a minus, this is what we found here, our a r, sin our a r. So we we'll say minus m. Uh, theta dot squared 1.5 plus 8 sine 45 All right, so this and this can go So what we have is just T sine 45 equal to Theta squared theta dot squared 1 plus 
1.5 plus 8 sine 45. So let's work out the two equations, this and this. We solve them simultaneously. So I can divide them for me. That's how I'm going to work them out. So sine 45 is equal to uh, theta dot squared 1.5 plus 8 sine 45. And we divide this, divide this. So we'll have t cos 45, and this side will have mg, which is just um, here. There is an m. Sorry, I forgot an m here. Okay, there's an m here, which I just need to include, right? So we do have m here and we do have m so here it will be m times g so this m and m also they are goals the t and t goals so we'll have tan 45 equal to theta dot squared 1.5 plus 8 sine 45 8 sine 45 then divided by divided by 9.81 okay so our theta theta therefore making theta dot subject of formula so we have tan 45 times 9.81 divided by 5 plus, I mean divided by 1.5 plus 8 sine 45 square root of that so we do have 1.17 and the units are rads per second alright I guess this is about it we have found uh, the um, uh, the constant angular velocity theta dot of the vertical shaft of the amusement ride and if this video is helpful give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast